five, four, three, two, one. You're live with Neve. Welcome, Earth creatures. Happy, happy Friday. It's been, gosh, it's been two long weeks. I missed everybody. It's good to be back here and see some of my peeps hanging around. I've got a great band with coming up today from Los Angeles. They, these guys are by far my favorite duo. Um, Mitch has been a friend of mine, been on the show before. Uh, his drummer, Johnny's uh, also, uh, I've seen him in the past iterations of the band. He's a great player and they are just the coolest duo and they'll be on shortly. And uh, I think you're going to really get a kick out of them. They're, uh, they're, they're different, and I like that. Uh, in today's weird news, or bad news gone weird, or whatever, we've got some bad stuff. Uh, sad news, if you know, whether you care about the royal family or not, it turns out, uh, I guess she's the princess, uh, has cancer, she's having chemo. Uh, the Trump stuff, blah, 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 blah. Christian evangelicals, blah, 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 blah. George Santos, blah, 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 blah. Trial of... Arizona rancher, blah, 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 blah. Wendy's delivering food by drone. Now, that's something I can kind of dig on. It is Friday, and I might have to just eat some grody fast food and order myself a drone-delivered uh, Wendy's uh, burger. I wonder if it costs how much extra for the drone delivery. Uh, look at this. I've got my boys here in the back room. I'm watching them. They're, they're, like, they're like animals in the gate, ready to rip into the rock and roll fury. It's going to be a good time today, people. Uh, the news is real short and 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 not even much humor value in it, but welcome. Hey, Bill, good to see you. Uh, for all those watching, is our buddy Bill from Legion of Prague. If you like Prague, there is only one place to go, and that's Legion of Prague. They kick ass, people. I always have to take up for these guys. They are killer. Not that they do not, they don't need me taking up for them. They kick ass, trust me. So in looking at the bill from... I love you to asshole, how Joe gave him, never mind, I got more blah, 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 Louis Vuitton, uh, this is just, this, this world's starting to bug me, now this is something I can get into, this is some smut and a wild abandonment, we have GoPros, gummies, reckless abandon, ski slopes getting more dangerous, no shit, this shit's been going on since snowboarding started 20 years ago, I mean really, um, it was longer than that that it started. So it's just a bunch of stone fucking youth acting errant. And I don't know what else we would say they're doing. They're getting their wild oats, sowing them, whatever you do with wild oats. Uh, so we have um, man wakes up seeing demons in bizarre brain operation. Hmm. I don't know anything about that, but we've got that's kind of scary stuff. And then we have. <laughs> Chinese humanoids. These look great. I think I want one of these in my home. How about you, peeps? Think about that. I say it looks like a good thing to use for target practice, personally. I think uh, get it running out on the back 40 and cut a couple of boxes of ammo and go to town. Record Russian missile barrage. Ugh, more of this evil shit. There's a crackdown on artists. It posts a portrait of scared Putin. Bullshit. He'll shoot those people, believe me. Um... Uh, I don't know, after the demon story and waking up, let's see, why are women both sadder and happier than men? I don't know. I don't really know. Um, anybody out there has any ideas? Bill, you're out there. Uh, what do you got, man? Uh, it says white Americans are more likely to succumb to deaths of despair. This is like the greatest day in news I've had in a while. Let me tell you a little bit. I'm going to do my, I'm just going to rant for a minute. First off, my day began kind of crazy. I get up and I had some work to do with a friend of mine who I was going to take to the doctor's office. 
So I hop out, had some work to do on the car yesterday, got it all sorted out. Get in the car this morning, start it up. I've got smoke billowing. It's from antifreeze. So I go and I say, oh, Lord, have mercy. That's not exactly what I said. You can believe that. And at any rate, I go down, look under the car, and sure enough, I've got a radiator hose that is dead. So then I get inside, and I don't want my friend to be late for her doctor's appointment. And I scare up an Uber. Of course, it's uh, plus time scheduling, peeps. That means it's any time of day you have to go anywhere. Hold on. I'm, not, I'm kind of off with my, you know that I'm off anyway. But there we go. A little more centered on that. You got to be centered in this job. You know, it's like being a flight air traffic controller, only people don't die. Um, so at any rate, then I get the Uber guy shows up. And somehow between my typing skills and Uber's uh, tele telephonic communication gets the wrong address. So I drive all the way to Lincroft and I'm looking at my map that I had set the appointment with um, and it's not going in the same place. So I pull in and sure enough, we, we had to add a couple of digits. So then we get back there and we took our place and we went and got take, everything taken care of business, and it all worked out. Now I'm home, and we're here. We've got cool musicians. Um, one of the things we're going to do, I do have a couple of ads to play before I have them uh, come on, but you're going to really, I think you guys are going to be digging this. It's really something I think is cool as hell. I hope to pick their brain and see if they tell me the secrets of their sauce, their special sauce. It's sort of like the stuff we get at any place that has special sauce, you know? Uh, Warlord Barbecue loses top lieutenant with a guy in Haiti named Barbecue. I don't know if he runs a rib joint or what, but I'm good for a couple of uh, cases of goat. Yeah, man, chicken, goat, and rib. I actually worked with a, talked to a Haitian lady today. Very nice lady concerned about her homeland. Uh, let's see, we've got Sean King. Uh, you know... I don't know what to make of the guy. Sean King is sort of like a, a trans racial person. He's a white guy. He's as white as I am. And yet he claims to be black and he kind of gets the haircut and he talks in a stereotypical black manner. Um, any rate, that's up. That's all I've got today. We've got white people dying from despair. Christian group luring students with free pizza at lunch. California parents say. I, I that's all I got. I, I got to just tell you, we've got an operating room where they're doing um, revolutionary brain computer implants now. Uh, oh, good. Hey, Susan, it's a pleasure to see you. One of my oldest fans and friends on the show. Hello to Susan, Pete, and Eugene out there in the hood of New York. Uh, so here we are. We're talking about gummies. There's nothing really left here on the news. I. I don't even know what to do. Let's just sit for laughs. I'm going to see if I can shake it up, go to some other bizarro news site around the world and see it. <clears throat> the Australians are always kind of entertaining. Um, I don't see the Australian news here. Let's see what the Boston Globe's yapping about today on the front page. How about that? It's the same stuff. There's a storm coming Saturday, people. If any of you here, Pete, so, uh, I say hello to Pete. There we go. Um, Boston PD is looking to ID suspects in a fight on St. Patrick's Day? Are you kidding me? I mean, God almighty, I got to laugh at that. That's a great one. How many do you think they're looking for? I mean, Jesus Christ, there's only a few hundred thousand red, you know, red-headed stepchildren in Boston. I don't know what to tell you. There's a migrant crisis there, apparently. And Maine is once again one of the top best destinations in 2024. It's always been a great spot to go. I love going up there. At any rate, that's it. So we're going to run some ads. I'm going to bring on the boys. We're going to play some music, and we're going to get out of this uh, miasma of filth and trash in the news. Um, remember, I am the founder of uh, Drugs for Politicians, so please give generously so that we can keep them away from their desks and away from any red buttons or anything like that. It's just not a good thing feeding these people, but... Here we go. I'm going to pull up my friend Carlton Wilkinson, and that is because I will be playing drums, and I'm back, and I'll be playing drums on his new record. He's got about 15 songs waiting for my itchy fingers, and uh, here's from his previous record. Mm -hmm. 
There's some changes headed Like the Gulf Stream rising Like some gale that's been blowing Off this wild bird island shore And I can't say where And I don't know when But some old door's been opened In the restless shade Exciting connection for our veterans, country music fans, and there is something for everyone. Gone Country Hats at GoneCountryHats.com. That's right, we've partnered with Gone Country Hats at GoneCountryHats.com. See you soon. Like a melting flake of snow. They're looking for this fella after St. Patty's Day, I tell you. Hi, I'm Darren F. Flynn, a singer-songwriter Hello, from Ireland, Fox. and I'm on Live with Neve. I would have never guessed that wee lad was from Ireland. I would have never put it, to, I mean, tell you, he's a wee leprechaun. So who's out there? I see a couple of you lurking around in the shadows. What's going on, peeps? Happy, happy Friday. Um, we've got our boys, or they're in the studio, patiently awaiting this. I'm looking at the uh, video here. I might be taken away into another dimension at any second. It'd just be like a time portal. I can see uh, Mitch is furiously. He's in the he's in the NASA control suite. Here he is. What's yeah, happening, you, Long Harris? How you guys doing? Doing great. Doing Good. great. Had to turn on the air conditioning because it gets hot here. Because, you know, it's California and we have desert and, you know, those kind of things. I know. What's going on weather-wise out there today? Is there any air Probably swakes? About or... 70 degrees, huh? Yeah. 70 oh, man, roughing it. Guys. Um, oh, so well, we we've got a great New York day here. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Thank New you. York. Welcome. Yeah, well... I'm thinking about where you guys are at. I have a nice fireplace going. The studio here is appropriately chilled. You know, got to have it that <laughs> I way. I love it. I'm working I on my it. studio tan, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks good. It looks good. We, of course, have ours, uh, which is all in the lighting. I'm as white the as place as looks great. Lie. Every time I look at it and I hear you guys, you sound better. And uh, I'm not one to ever say anything about anybody else having technical problems because my show is... Still holding the record. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm just giving you a hard time because you know how it is when you're trying to do this stuff. Shit gets weird. And it's like, we just tested it. I have the same problem. And then I'm like turning computers off. And you get that weird look on my face. I get it. I'm yeah. not panicked. Yeah, I don't really panic place. anymore, though, because I know everybody just laughs at the show anyway. So you know, I can't take myself. Ago, everything worked, worked fine. Everything was perfect 30 seconds ago. I no... No idea what's going to be now. And recently, we've been having haunted happenings here at uh, the Codger mm -hmm. Abode. It's uh, books are falling off the shelf in the middle of the night, opening to pages. Uh, it's Dave's goal. Dave, Dave's goal. Yes, Dave Grohl's book fell off oh. the shelf. By the way, it's not in a place where it should have. It's, you know, in the middle of a bunch of books and just in the middle of the night. Clunk. We're having up. poltergeist activity then, I, I presume. Pretty much. We think it's our old guitar player, but we can't prove it hmm well you know he he did hang there man you never know uh it's a nice thought i, I kind of feel that way about my keyboard player occasionally here in the house i'll be thinking of him for some odd reason <laughs> and then i'll i'll go and look in the fridge and there's always just one michelob that's been there since he last time we got together and i'm not a drinker so it's just sitting there and kind of makes me think he's just sort of lurking around the house he's a He's the consummate studio keyboard player and engineer. We're both full sale guys, and 
ended up i interned at the same studio but I, it's kind of nice to know they might be roaming about you know i mean hey yeah but you could go hunt johnny's house for a while johnny yes no i got enough problems <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true drummer, man. I like this guy, man. Don't 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 worry, man. There's a support group for you, man. We're we're taking over the world. <laughs> so I got to ask you, how did you technologically come to this point? I know I know the answer, but for my audience, tell us a little bit about how you went and got to where you're at doing it. I, I'm still fascinated with the technology myself. It is rather strange technology. Uh, of course, when, when our guitar player passed, we thought about getting a new one and thought, well, you know, after 20 something years, nah, just there's a billion great guitar players. It's just, right. are we going to find that chemistry? And we're old. We don't have enough time to build that rapport. You know, we just, we just don't. So looking around for bands that would be bass and drums as if that would ever happen. And sure enough, we found one. They're called Royal Blood. Uh, they're from the UK. They've had number one albums out there. The U.S., not quite, but they're working on it. Ooh, excuse me. That's uh, cool. Yeah, they're, they're selling out places, uh, 2,000 seaters, things like that, and then they're playing as part of the bill in the large festivals. The technology behind it, at its simplest, is a bass with various pedals and effects to give it all sorts of octaves. It's like octave uh, multiplier stereo. type things. I yes, guess. And, and so we have octaves. We have uh, to really make it work. You have to spend time getting stereo splits and all that kind of stuff. Right. And then there's the drums. There's just the drums. No, <laughs> actually, the, the technology behind this gets really crazy, but we're not going to, we didn't want to risk it today just because the way technology is. But when Royal Blood tours, they have backup vocals going on all the time. Right. Uh, or strange keyboard parts. Now, now the tour, the keyboard player now, but they don't need them for these parts. And it's all being triggered by the drummer. So no I was wondering if you had some, is it click step advancing the sequence each time you click or how's that just, you don't have to get into total details. I'm just curious. Basically you'll have a pad up here that when you hit it, it'll, you know, go go, go, go or some. Okay. So micro like sequencing. That's a good sound, by the way, I'd work hard. Yeah, to get that. that was very good. Yeah. And cool. there's another song where there's, you know, like uh, weird harmonies going on, just little blasts and it's all being triggered by the drummer. And so we've got the gear now to replicate that. And, it's just off the shelf stuff. I didn't invent anything. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's really stuff. great. Um, you know, I mean, that's just that's why I've been digging on you guys for a while since you started. I've watched you your progress because I remember, you know, at the beginning, it's like you're trying to make this happen on the go, and I'm impressed. It, it shows uh, diligence, and you know what MIDI means anyway. It means mindless idiots demand the impossible. I'm sure you've heard that living <laughs> this, in LA, and yes, it doesn't so change. I, I think they're still working on the new MIDI standard. I didn't go to NAM this year to really find out, but I, I think they're still the pointed heads are still doing whatever they do with their runes and bones and stuff they throw to decide what we should buy. Them. Expect delivery in early 2051. Yes, I think that'll be about it. Time for my retirement. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, <clears throat> I've got my friend Rick. Uh, good afternoon, Rick. Yeah, I heard about. Princess Kate ha has cancer. That's a horrible thing. Um, I've got it in my family right now. You know, it's a terrible thing. Everybody in our world gets a dose of having to deal with that. And it just sucks. Um, and I know you guys just lost your friend, you know, about a year ago. Not that long. Yes. Yeah. Johnny you know, went through about. And uh, yeah. I was, of course, you know, a, a pioneer in this for the band. I, I hit it about 2010. I right. I remember. So, so, you know, you well, get old enough, stuff happens. It does. I just went and had my stuff, but, you know, I'm here. I'm alive. And, that's, that's and, you know, that's it. That's all I, all I can say. So, <clears throat> tell us, um, you ready to play a little music? We are. We are. All right. And, well, uh, everybody, this is a really cool concept, and I think it's, I just think it's cool as shit. I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, here you go, guys. Uh, these good. are royal blood but i think it's the royal codgers if i'm not mistaken is that correct yes it is okay well we're gonna get you right. a stylist really and we're gonna get you some hair dye and we're putting you out on the on the road with two korean kids <laughs> there's two to a second ago See, <laughs> they just, <laughs> you'll be stars in korea and all the little korean girls when you go to the when you go to the men's store, we'll follow you around to see what oh, you buy. Oh, all right. 
All right. Okay, peeps. Here they are. Nothing here to see, just a kid like me, trying to cut some tea, trying to figure it out. There's Nothing no better to do when it's stuck on you, still around right here trying to figure it out. Getting hard to sleep, blood is in my dreams, love is killing me, trying to figure it out. Nothing better to do when I'm stuck on you. Still around here trying to figure it out. Hey! It's gone, gents. sound brothers fuck oh did i say that we lost it again okay hang on everybody please stand by these things happen occasionally did you you got to figure out uh, i don't hear your bass or the keys our or stuff the drums. is still saying it's happening damn you don't hear that no nah. i heard i don't hear i hear just i just hear the uh room sounds go ahead it's gone again Can you hear the drums? I hear a little bit of bass, um, but no drums now, and, and hardly any bass. Like, I could hear your vocals just vocally into the room with the drums. Well, according to this, it's all working. Um, tap on your drum set again. Turn it down now. Let me hear it. It just—it's weird. It sounded much more crisp. How about now? Your bass. Go ahead, play the bass. I hear the hi hat and stuff. I didn't notice, like when you crash, though. I don't hear your crash symbol. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be picky, I, and I don't hear the bass at all. Other than what I could hear, I—I um, I know you heard it, Rick. I—I okay. I can hear it a little bit, but not. Now I hear it a little Lost bit. Him. Here, hang on one second here. Okie doke. Now these things happen, folks. Sometimes, you know, it's technology. Yep. And okay, I've we're had... going to try. I'm going to try and switch this over. Okie doke. I hate. I hated to stop you because <laughs> you were you no, getting right. into the groove. <laughs> Now I hear you. I hear your drums. There we go. Now we're back, yes. All right, we I hear just you. the percussion in the room, no effects. So we don't have you for right now, so give us sign language, and then I'll find a way to turn you on. Okay, I, I'm going to turn me off. Um, let's see what you got. Uh, There we go. 
Nothing here to see, just a kid like me trying to cut some teeth, trying to figure it out. Nothing better to do when it's stuck on you. Just choose around here trying to figure it out. Getting hard to sleep, blood is in my dream, love is killing me, trying to figure it out. Nothing better to do when I'm stuck on you. Stand around me trying to figure it out. I've got to find a way to hear you. Oh, I know. There we go. Now you can. That, it's hard. I hope. You. Yeah, that's much better. It's time for us to play another one. Point at us. Oh, I definitely will. I, in fact, you know, rather than hearing me yap, that was that was great. This is why I wanted to have you guys on for so long. I really, uh, I love what you do, man. So, what do you what what are you going to play next? I'm going to change bases. Okay. I'm going to change bases real quick, and we'll be right with you. Cool. Yeah, I don't think he has enough of them hanging there. There's never enough basses, and they're sort of like snare drums. They have babies when you turn the lights out. Hello, Bill. Hello, Rick. Hello, Susan. Friends, Romans, and countrymen, lend me your beer. So it looks like we're going to have quite the uh, nor'easter coming in here to uh, the northeast United States. Kind of nice out right now, but somewhat cool. Anyhow, we've got the Royal Codgers here. <laughs> no, not yet. You all set, gents?
Just like that. Excellent. Give me one more. Let's do one more, and then I'll hook it up so we can hear you, because I want to get roasted, and I know you're the man to do it. <laughs> they can't hear me, but you can in the audience. <laughs> these guys are great. How about it, people? I, I just I love these two, man. Really great cats. Mitch and Johnny. Royal Codgers. I resemble that remark. Is that the coolest or what?
I'm going to do what I can to get Neil back on. All right. That's a stage. There he is. There he Look is. at that. We pull and we're all right here. We'll hear you. We're going to see if we can get you back on so we we know what's going on. What's... Howdy. All right, we can hear you now. Ah, hi. Hello, Los oh, Angeles. Hi. Godzilla is taking over New York. Oh, God, did <laughs> I just do that? Did I just I say you that? Did. You are in wow. so much shit. I'm so <laughs> fucking going to, now I'm going to have people coming after me. I better not do anything more offensive today than that. <laughs> just just hit wait around. You never know. You know what? It's really terrible. I forgot that that's like, I, I'm just an evil old white guy, I guess. I don't know. Well, a lot of people have that. <laughs> You're the man. Oh, yes, indeed. <clears throat> so you guys, uh, I, I'm still really intrigued by the whole way you do that. Did you change your tuning when you changed bases? Yes. I, I don't do it on mic right now. We're going through to make the iPad. Um, yes. Hold on. This guy changes. Or here. Is this better? No, he isn't getting us now. Do you have us? Yes. Okay. What's going on there? Down in your waist, below your waist there. <laughs> okay. All right. We have you on this end. Yeah. It, it can't possibly be working on both sides at once. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm hoping. Can you hear me? Nod your head. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. We, we're cool. Um, I was just curious. So did you change the tuning on your bass when you switched instruments? Yes. Can, can, can you hear me at all? Yeah, I yes. hear you now perfectly. Oh, okay, beautiful. Okay. Yes. Um, this guy's got eight, uh, this guy, Mike Kerr in Royal Blood. He has almost a different bass for every song. We tried to plan it so I'd use the same one, but uh, some are tuned, just standard E-tuning, some are... Uh, standard E tuning, but two frets down in D, standard D, some are standard C, some are some weird mix up of strings because he writes things that are just, it's all riff oriented. And sometimes he writes stuff that wouldn't be possible in normal tuning. Right. Uh, that's what I was thinking with the, just the way um, <clears throat> between the micro sequencing and then the, the tonality of, um, is it frequency dependent when you changed your tuning? Does the octave, how, how does, how do you calibrate that? You, get, you kind of get what I'm trying to ask? Yes, yes. The um, Well, the, the octave, the, the ones that I'm using right now, they, they'll take an <laughs> octave of whatever I send it. But the problem is, because of the nature of technology, low notes have wider waves, literally. Yes, uh, wi wider, much wider so, waves. So, so there's a little more latency in how it takes the time to do it. It changes the tone. You have to mess with the tone. You have to mess with a whole bunch of stuff just by changing the tuning that you're going to have for the lowest string. Gotcha, because I was I was really paying attention and listening to you, and I was going, "This is interesting," because I could hear the guitar notes, and I was trying to figure out, you know, what you were doing to get that. It was really, it's very cool. It sounds good. Yeah. It's all thank you. It, it's all definitely live. I mean, there's no there's yeah. no playing two backing tracks. I mean, all this right, stuff is, right. You know, happening in real time. How, how long How long did it take you to? Uh, you feel comfortable now, obviously, because you just came on and knocked it out. It's tight. It's all, you know, made it, you made it look easy. But how, how long did it take you to really get to the nut of these songs? Each song is, is a new adventure. It, it can take uh, it can take one practice or it can take a month of practices. Sometimes right. it's a matter of strange timing and stepping on pedals and singing at the same time. Uh, mm -hmm. Luckily, Johnny sings. So he, he picks up the ones that are just well impossible for me to hit to begin with in terms of vo vocals. And sometimes yeah, the vocals just, sound great yeah. on both of them. Yeah, I end up doing a pedal dance. Uh, I've got right now only one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven or eight pedals down here. The, the full rig is about a 10, 15 thing. I've got different multi effects that take the place of, oh, uh, it's a mess. Yeah. Did you buy it by the pound? <laughs> by the ton by the ton i bet that sounds robust and big i mean damn holy shit yeah, i'm glad i just play drums and sing 
You know what? I'm a singing drummer too. Me too. I carry in all those. I, I just hate to even think of keeping up with all the cables. Although like you, I use an electronic kit. So you, you never know. You can be on your own all of a sudden, especially with, I, I have Roland and, and I've had a bunch of different ones, but you know, when that multi-connector, I'm like, you can get them on chi online um, just in case you always have an extra. I'm letting you know. Uh, Tebow cool. or one of those. You can buy like the whole harness for like 30 bucks. And I went, <gasps> I'll take it just to have it rolled up in there because it'd be the one time you don't bring it, you know, you'll, you'll be in the weeds. But uh, how long have you been uh, experimenting and playing electronic percussion? Since I joined Mitch. Oh, really? Which That's it. That, probably, this was a, yeah, probably what? Since 2017, huh. 2018? Yeah. Somewhere around well, that's, there. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I, 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 I look at it. <laughs> how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Um, how old do you think I am? <laughs> I don't know. You you could be anywhere from forty to eighty. <laughs> You're close. I'm seventy years old. Well, good for you, man. I'm I'm sixty two, so I'm just a, I'm just a young, you know, I'm a young crawdad. I'm I'm ten years younger, but uh, I'm still rocking too. And what else are we gonna do with ourselves? Play, I mean, play rock and roll. Yeah. Play rock and roll, exactly. And, and you know. Stay healthy yeah. and you know vital That's and alive. My, my friends, our friends at Legion of Prague's going twelve pedals and Bill is he's has an austere but very tight rig. But I, I I know what he's saying. I'm thinking of just soldering all those little jacks when something screws up on a pedal. Like that. <laughs> well, one of the pedals that I have is a Lime Six Helix, so it's, so it's basically about eight or nine pedals in and of itself. Right, um, a multi effects <laughs> thing. Yeah, this is what I'm going to call my my B rig. My, my A rig is still in the works, and it's it's ridiculous. And, and uh, what kind of time, go ahead? What kind of an amp do you have, or do you prefer none? none. You oh. just all through the PA. Yeah, straight ahead. Very cool. Uh, if I were to play, I, I've got a, a TC Electronics that I like because it, it's vertical stacking cabinets. So I got oh yeah, doing, instead of just blowing yes. it you know, at the ground. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and, uh, that, but, we've had a, but we've been playing direct for, for so long that you right. get so used to hearing it exactly the way you like it. I, I love playing with either earbuds or headphones all the time. You know, being a drummer, it's the only way to really get the thump. And the, the wireless ones, I haven't had the luck with them. I, even though I constantly break headphones like they get snatched <laughs> on something. But um, I really haven't found a pair of wireless headphones that aren't really expensive that somebody would just walk off with, potentially, um, you know. Oh, yeah. and so I have a big pair. Of, I have some great headphones here at the studio, but I use a headphone amp and a wired cable for anything, any live gig where I really want to hear the – plus all the samples. And you go, whomp! You really get yeah. that whomp feeling going. It's a great feeling. Um, well, I've got – let's see. We've got about – 15 minutes do you have you want to play another song sure yeah. well, or, you want to do you want to do lights out we can give it yeah. a shot okay. this is one that um we shouldn't be doing live but yeah you know, all that. right well that always adds the element of danger and live without a net that's not it. to put any pressure on you um no. you do have to turn off i guess my uh oh, he says a helix and he said there's an yeah. art setting that up is that what you're using yep gotcha it's just one of them. And coming up next is uh, I've got a quad cortex sitting in the wings. A quad Basically, cortex. Sounds yeah, like it, what it, I need to have rewired into my frontal lobe, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> a lot of damage in the 80s, you know. At least. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see if I can get us back going again. Let's, let's see if this Okay, works. I'm signing off, people, but we'll be back. <clears throat> what do you guys think? I love this band. I'm telling you, these guys are onto something very cool yep all right you just got it go ahead hit it again you got it i'm not sure i'm not sure wait hang on no not yet no, no. now we got it. yeah i'm gonna bring over the old djembe I can throw remotes around too. That's what I do. There we go. All right, peeps. Mitch and Johnny, the Royal Codgers, man. Syrup for these guys. Yeah.
another Royal Blood song. We have time afterwards. We'll do just like a straight cover song, like a Cream thing or an old Free song, just to just Excellent. show you how strange it is. Sounds good. Very We're cool. We're going to weird territory here. How about that? Man, you guys sound great. Is, there a, is it really? time for one more or no? You be, a yeah. Or nay? One more? Okay. One more. Sounds good. One more, people. They can't hear me, as you may have gathered. Uh, so, um, I don't know, but I can hear them, and you can, too. They're sounding really great, aren't they? I'm telling you. I'll, just a great band. Something a little bit different. Okay. I've heard that before. <laughs> and of course, he has to change bases again to do it. Of course. All right. What do we got here this time? Ah, is that a G and L? There he is. All right. Oh, no. Ibanez. 
It looks the same, just a different color. It's only Can you hear me now? <laughs> no, apparently not. I think we're about ready to go here. Mm. Some cream. Something you don't expect from just two of us, right? Right. This will be different. So enjoy. All right, all right. How about it, everybody? Big hand them. Mitch and Johnny, the Royal Codgers. Here they are. Thank you so much. 
we had one question for you. Where can these, where can our friends uh, catch up with you? Do you have a website and all that good stuff? We do. Uh, we have a couple of them. We've got uh, trickdogband.com uh, for just regular website. Trickdogband.com. We also okay. have Roy. Can you hear me? Yes, no, maybe? I hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then we have royalcodgers.com, which is the Royal Blood Tribute Band. Excellent. And of course, we're on Facebook and, you know, the usual suspects. Very good. Well, listen, uh, you're always welcome to come by anytime. I love you guys and keep up and, you know, write some tunes now. I'm serious. That's, that's you guys, you, you, well, you're on the cusp of something really cool that I, I like a lot. And I think you should be, that's next. I mean, how? We talked about that quite a bit lately. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we have about half a dozen that we think are okay. We've done two of them out good. in public and we'll cool. see how the rest go. Well, Excellent. good. I, I, I can't wait to hear some of them. Oh, where'd we go? There we go. Um, I look forward to hearing them, and hell, I'll be out there at some point in the near future. So I'll see you at some point, and we'll get to do the cool. hang and eat some good food. All I right. Like Neil, a pleasure working with you, my man. Hey, likewise. I can't wait to see you guys, you know, uh, next time I'm out there. And uh, at the least it'll be next time if they have a NAM again. <laughs> I'm kidding. but Cool. Yeah. yeah. I hear that every year. Oh, will it ever come back? Yeah, it'll be back. So, yeah. all right, everybody. Yeah. Thank you for watching the Live with Neve show. We'll see you next time. We're out of here.